How do I form an explicit thesis or research question? This short video will answer that question and get you thinking about explicit theses on your topic. We already covered what you know in the module on concept maps. We're going to continue with the topic of vegetarianism for demonstration purposes. Use the ideas you brainstormed with your concept map to help form your explicit thesis. A good explicit thesis, also known as a research question, will help you focus your searching and pinpoint information to look for while researching. Good explicit theses are open-ended, address an issue, controversy, or solve a problem, and usually are something you can take a stand on. Your research question should be clear and focused, yet complex enough to require research. No simple yes or no questions allowed. Take the general purpose, also known as the broad topic, in the center of your concept map, and the specific purposes or narrowed topics that sprang from that, to help you develop your explicit thesis. Ask yourself what you need to know about your specific purpose, like this. Our general purpose is, all together now, vegetarianism. Our more specific purposes appear to be asking us to compare moral, health, and environmental reasons for becoming a vegetarian that leads to the explicit thesis, does the reason for becoming a vegetarian affect one's commitment to the vegetarian lifestyle? Let's take a look at the difference between effective and ineffective specific theses. With the question, why do people become vegetarian? You're likely to get as many answers as there are vegetarians. Make the question more specific by asking if the reason for becoming vegetarian has an impact on a person's commitment to vegetarianism. On the surface, is it better to be a vegan or vegetarian seems to meet the criteria for addressing a controversy with your explicit thesis. But again, you're likely to get as many differing answers as there are vegans and vegetarians. It would be better to investigate the health benefits of the two diets and present them to your audience. Give them some good hard facts and give yourself something easier to research. Good questions generate more questions. Pretend you're a two-year-old for a minute. They always have lots of questions, which generate more areas for research. Got it? Here's some sample follow-up questions to our explicit thesis about how the reasons for becoming a vegetarian may or may not affect a person's commitment to vegetarianism. Now, you try it with your topic. Take your general purpose, one of your specific purposes, meld those into a broad explicit thesis, and then become a two-year-old for a minute and think of lots of follow-up questions. A table similar to this one might help you, or you might be like me and just do better scribbling all over a whiteboard. Whatever works for you. If you need help, just ask a librarian. That's what we're here for. 